Hi everyone, welcome back to our tutorial. We will continue from the previous session and add robotic arm to the system. What we would like to do today is to control the arm with the push button and use the LED module to display the arm status. First, let's start with the hardware connection. Before we connect any hardware, make sure everything is powered off. We will use the default serial 1 on the Arduino, pin 18 and 19. 18 for TX, 19 for RX. We will connect the robotic arm extender box UART port, ground, RX, TX, 5V to the corresponding ports on the Arduino. Again, we need to make sure that TX on one device is connected to RX on the other and vice versa. We see that orange is RX on the extender box, which means it will be connected to TX on the Arduino, which is pin 8. And yellow is TX on the extender box, which will be connected to RX writing on the Arduino. Next, we have ground which is blue. We can use the ground on the breadboard. And for green, it's 5 volts. We need to find the 5 volts from the board, which is in between ground and 3.3 .3 volts. That's all for the hardware connection. Then, let's move on to programming. Let's open Blocks Factory. Next, let's connect the Arduino to the computer. And power on the robotic arm. Just as the first tutorial, in the control section, we drag the setup and we initialize the UART communication with MT4 under Wakata Library. Then, we want to build a system that when the button is pressed, the arm will start the homing operation. And during the homing operation, the LED module will serve as an indicator light to warn the user to stay away. After the arm is done homing, the LED will turn off. Just for reminder, our LED is pin 6, and push button is pin 5. So, let's start programming. In order to track the button states, again, we need a global variable. We could again call it previous state and set it to false. Then, in the loop, we want to have an if statement. The condition is again the transition between not pressed to pressed. We use the end operation, where the two side is not previous state, and another side, the reading from the button which is pins 5. In the if statement, we want to first turn on the LED light at pin 6. Next, we would like to have the robotic arm homing, which means resetting its axis. Next, we would like to wait until the robotic arm is in idle state. So we can turn off the LED light.
Lastly, we want to set the previous state to be our current reading. Let's upload to the board. Now, if we press the button, the robotic arm will start honing while the LED is red. And the LED will remain red until the robotic arm stuff. We can try it again. This is all for this tutorial. Thank you very much and See you in the next tutorial.